There was a period of time in Renaissance Europe history where the spread of syphilis became an extreme issue. I won't go into the specifics or show any of the disturbing images of its symptoms, but suffice to say, it caused an outbreak almost comparable to that of a zombie movie. During this time, it was not an uncommon sight to see people wandering the streets, doubled over in intense pain, the flesh rotting off of their bodies, begging for help from people who would just push them away wanting nothing to do with them. These people became disconnected from society, unable to perceive anything but their own internal pain and suffering. You're probably wondering what the point of this analogy is. What I'm trying to do here is paint an image of what happens to a flat earther when they fall too far down the rabbit hole. Eventually, the combination of symptoms, cognitive dissonance, cognitive bias, hostility, paranoia, Dunning-Kruger, it begins to cause so much damage to the psyche that the person who once was there is gone. They become a zombie, an NPC, incapable of connecting with another human being on any meaningful level. Their cognitive faculties start to shut down. The synapses in their brain begin to misfire and then go dark, one by one. Eventually, all that remains is something comparable to this. Today we're going to explore a few terminal cases of flat earthism. Let's examine their inability to be coherent, and throughout this, I want all flat earthers to ask themselves, is this really how you want your life to be? Number 1. K-Bone Fan This guy took issue with this series, my mental illness series. He left this comment on part 6, three times. So I'm being diagnosed as ill? So be it. LOL. By the way, I'll destroy any baller who'd like to debate the flat earth, please comment below. I took this as an opportunity. The comment implied, no, not implied, explicitly said, that he wanted a debate. So in my usual fashion, I asked if he wanted to speak to me over voice chat regarding this. He responded by saying no, that he would only debate in the comments. I thanked him for his time and said good day, as he had exposed that he had no interest in a real debate. A few minutes later, I got a notification, a new comment, from K-Bone Fan saying the exact same thing he'd said last time. So of course, I repeated my actions. So we deleted his comment a second time, and posted it again. This time, I threatened to screenshot his deleted comments in order to show everyone his dishonesty. He responded with this, Please fuck off! I mean, who's the keyboard warrior now? Are you kidding me, K-Bone fan? You are the one who refused to step out from behind your keyboard, making you, definitionally, a keyboard warrior. The reason K-Bone Fan wanted to debate over comments and not over voice chat is that he is afraid. He's unconscious of it, but he knows being forced to stand on his own merits is a bad thing for him to do. His psychosis is aware that he will be confronted with questions he cannot answer, so instead, he insists on a medium that gives him more time. More time allows him to go to his favorite Flat Earth channels and find the answer for him, instead of actually attempting to figure it out or admitting his ignorance. Every part of his comment is a deflection that prevents him from having a rational conversation like a normal person. Number two, we have the user formerly known as I know you know I know. I can't find the more recent comments, but part seven of the mental illness series covers this gem pretty nicely. I'm not gonna show his comments because it's just a mess of homophobic and transphobic insults and generally unlikable behavior all you need to know is that no matter what anyone asks him, he'll respond with bullying. He'll call you an effeminate tranny faggot. He'll accuse you of being a paid shill. He'll dodge every basic question and just repeat his script. He's like a Darth Dawkins clone, and nobody wants to talk to a guy who argues like this. Since you lack belief in God as the ground of all being, where God would be the foundation and basis for all rationality and intelligibility, since you lack belief in God, what then would be the ground of all being or that which is absolute that provides you with a basis for any intelligibility at all? What the fuck are you talking about? This person's identity, which by the way they're likely a sock account for awake souls, is mired in projection and hatred. All of their responses are sickeningly full of vitriol and honestly hard to read. 
They're like a rabid dog, frothing at the mouth. And it's impossible to have a conversation with a rabid dog. Last, but certainly not least, we have Bry416. Bry is a very special terminal case. He is what I believe to be the final stage of flat earthism, what comes after you succumb to the levels that the Awake Souls sock account has. If you're new to my channel, you may be unfamiliar with Bry. He was the subject of my 100 subscriber special, and since then, he went quiet until very recently. He started posting an entire short story in the comments, and while I haven't read it, though he thinks I have, his point seems to be that all education is indoctrination. His point aside, Bry is completely incapable of connecting with anyone. When he reappeared with his little novella comments, I tried a new tactic with him. I ignored everything he said, and instead asked him simple, succinct questions. My goal here was to figure out if he was actually a real person or a bot. To date, the jury is still out on this subject. Do you like milkshakes? I asked him. I bet we could bond over milkshakes. He responded by saying that that was a weak and effeminate reply. Hmm, no milkshakes, I thought. Maybe he thinks milkshakes are for girls? Damn that, milkshakes are too good to be hogged by one gender. So instead, I asked Bri if he would prefer to bond over a beer. He told me to fight my homo nerd tendencies, though he typed it as though it were a book title. I really feel like asking someone if they want to have a beer is the opposite of a nerd tendency, but okay. Let me try something else, I said. Bry, is the sky blue? Bry responded by again, telling me to fight my homo nerd tendencies, and then ranting about, I don't know, something. So I gave him one more chance and repeated the question. He replied by rambling. At this point, I gave up, as you can see. When Bry showed up again, I had no patience for it. I'm not sure Bry is a real person, due to his inability to actually address direct questions that have been said to him. A bot can't quite infer context just by reading words typed to them. Cleverbot and all of its various clones prove that. But the brutal thing is, Bry is completely indistinguishable from a bot. That's how broken his brain is. Just imagine saying hello to someone, and they respond by explaining that you're a Luciferian cult member who's been brainwashed to think hello means hello. He is literally the internet equivalent of the homeless man who sits in the back of McDonald's conversing with himself very seriously, and everybody avoids him because he smells bad and they don't want to get sucked into the void of his psychosis. Bry is broken. He is so far removed from reality that he's no longer even able to take part in it. He's all alone in his little echo chamber, and internally, he's happy. But outside, he's gone. I bet if I were to look him in the face, a thousand yard stare would greet me back. The terminal cases of flat earthism speak for themselves. I'd like to close by sharing this image, which was once posted as a comment on a NASA Facebook post. Yup. He thought that was a good idea somehow. And people wonder why I consider flat earth a real threat? That is why. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, which is Dead Kennedy in Space. If you want to support me further, consider donating on Patreon or purchasing some of my work through Amazon or Teespring. Thank you, and I'll see you over the curve, Space Cowboys. Live there. On the mode of dust. Suspended. In a sunbeam. In a fast, cosmic arena.